your characters play a fine line between them and us, black and blue. How did you tap into that based on your own judgments, your own opinions, and bring that onto screen for your characters? Yeah, I, mean, I, don't think, I, I mean, I don't think. I mean, I don't think I approach it that way. I mean, I was thinking like, you know, who is this character? What is what are his circumstances, and and what does he need to do to survive, and and what makes him the way he is, you know? And externally, we started to approach, you know, what he looks like, what he dresses like, and and all that kind of stuff in the circumstances. But um, but yeah, there's a gray in this film that's I think blankets yeah. the whole film. I, aside from Naomi's character, I mean, I think Tyrese is he turns because of his relationship with her and watches how she through hero, through hero um, deeds, just, I think he change, changes his mind, you know? I think I think he's representing the audience's mind. Like, wait a minute, this woman is spectacular. She's really kicking butt. She really cares. And I think that's what's going on. I think every, everybody else is sort of living in a gray area. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's after Katrina, there was a situation where the cops and the bad guys came together and created their own system, mm -hmm. and which is a dangerous thing to happen. And so what, what, what Naomi represents is what really the world should be, which is there is a difference between good and bad. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and she shows that, and that's, and that's a difficult thing to do, and it mm -hmm. takes a long time, but someone has to start it. Yeah. And uh, Miss Nafisa, your character, Missy is so complex. I want to like hug her and shake her at the same I know, time. I know, I know. Um, where in your life do you feel that you had changes or choices and you can tap in as well into your character and bring that? I think growing up in Philly was the best uh, research that I could have unwillingly experienced. Um, I know so many people like Missy. I could have, I can't say this enough, that I could have been her uh, being in that environment and coming up, becoming a product of it. Um, you know, she was not able to make the same decisions that Alicia's character was able to. And you can see the difference. You can see the anger that comes from that and the anger uh, of having to face that reality of those choices. Uh, so, yeah, it was really fun to, to play her and... You know, not walking into it judging who she is, just understanding that the black and the blue, there there are two different worlds. And, and, and when you're on my side, you just don't cross over into that side and you, you find a, you, you stick to that loyalty of, of who you are and what your side is. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a childhood friend <laughs> yeah. that, that you're up against, you don't cross that line. And uh, one line that stood out to me the most was be the change. Yeah. Um, what does that mean to you all to be the change, especially in the climate that we're in now, the way justice system is now and so prevalent and the things that we see on TV? What does be the change mean for you? It means to be courageous enough to not be popular, yeah. but be right. Do what's, what's good. What's, mm -hmm. what's good not just for yourself, but for all of us, for the communities, for, for our, our country. I mean, look at what we're looking, you know, we're, we live in a country divided, and, yeah. and the people who are running the country want it that way. And so we need to have our voices heard, and it takes sometimes just one person to have that strength to say, no, no, yeah, I'm going to fight. I'll die for this. I'll die. Yeah. Because it's the right thing to do. She was kicking butt. And she <laughs> that, but I, I mean, I mean, she's going to screw around, man. She's tough.